Welcome back to Tainslade Info. There are many trainer aircrafts in the Indian Air Force fleet like Pilatus PC-7, the Bay Systems Hawk and HL Kiran. There are also HL HTT-40 trainers in development which would be very soon inducted into the Indian Air Force trainer fleet. In addition to this, there are also trainer variants of Jaguar, MiG-21 and Mirage 2000 fighters. Even though I have mentioned so many trainers, the most awaited trainer are the Tejas Mark 1 which will be coming with many advanced features and enhancements. And this video will provide details on such information. Even though the 8 Tejas trainers which were pending from the initial orders were supposed to come in for each of IOC and FOC standard, due to the delays these orders have been clubbed with the recent 10 trainer aircraft in FOC standard and it was decided to deliver the entire 18 in the same FOC standard. Since now we know that the entire 18 Tejas Mark I trainer aircraft would be coming in FOC standard which is final operational clearance standard, let me list down the various features and enhancements which would be part of these trainers. To begin with, the Tejas Mark I FOC configuration trainer will be having an in-flight refueling capability due to the introduction of the mid-air refueling probe which is said to be happening for the first time for the indigenous trainer. It is not sure if these mid-air refueling probes would be provided by the Cobham company of the United Kingdom. Not only that, it is also said these FOC trainer aircraft will be getting an external fuel tank to enhance its range. Even though it is still not clear about the capacity of these tanks, as per the different sources, it is said that it might be of 800 to 1200 liter capacity. Obviously having an external tank will make the trainer aircraft fly for longer missions without worrying much about the fuel. These fighter trainers might be getting a wide area multifunctional displays which will provide efficient combat situational information and reduce the effort of training. This would obviously reduce the training cost of pilots overall. There are even plans to integrate these trainer aircrafts with beyond visual range missiles so that they can be more powerful than just being a trainer aircraft. The missiles which are said to be integrated are Astra and Derby beyond visual range missiles. The stability of these trainers would be better when compared to other trainers in the Indian Air Force fleet. So let's expect these 18 FOC standard Tejas Mark I trainers are delivered to Indian Air Force as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tenslayer Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.